Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, it's a brand new week. Today we're going to be doing the Diego City Collectibles release of Build the Ford GT. Now today we're going to be doing the last wheel, this is actually the spare wheel, putting that in the car and then we're going to be starting on the engine. So long time coming, can't wait to start the engine. Now you may have noticed something different in the workshop lots of things different in the workshop lately uh, we've got like the Wembley Arch going on here now this is a um a light source from Green Stuff World you can actually get this through Tyrell models and I put a link uh, just down the bottom you know me I'll put a QR code on the screen as well but it does allow me to put a camera mount on this as well so we have now got five cameras including the one that I'm talking to you on here so this is the new camera here and this will enable me to show you directly overhead what I'm building so we've got the offset one here and then we've got the direct overhead one here it's always handy to have uh, other cameras and I'm sure this is going to be a game changer so I can actually show you some of the details I'm doing especially when we get some of these hard black screws on black plastic or black metal and it's just impossible to see so I'm hoping that might uh, alleviate that problem but uh, brilliant idea if you are starting a YouTube channel and you do want to uh, actually film yourself doing this obviously we've got this arch here and I've got a camera mounted straight down looking at it i think that's brilliant anyway if you want to get this build for yourself i have put again a link down in the video description you know me i've stuck another qr code on the screen and you can get the four gt all the way from pack one but without further ado let's get cracking here is the magazine so again i'm going to give you a flick through this so you can see exactly what we're doing. We are actually just going to put the rim together. As you can see there, we do have the strap to put the spare wheel in as well. Put the rim together, put the wheel on, and then mount this inside the car just like that. And the first thing to do is just to line up these lugs here, 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 and here with the corresponding holes on the other side, and then just push them together like this. Might need a little bit of persuasive help. So I'm going to just put something like this here to help knock that together perfect okay let's fish out the tire I'm just going to make sure I've got out as much water as I can and I'm going to put this inside making sure that the rim area here is on this yellow side here so it's going to go in this way get it in like this it's quite a tough little push, but we've got it. Let me just uh, get the last bit over there. That looks perfect that side. A little bit there. That's perfect that side. So, wheel's done. So I've just brought the car up, as you can see here. And quite simply, the wheel is just going to go over this spindle here. Like that. That's going to be secured in place with one of these FP04 flange screws. And there you go that's in place we then want to take this spare wheel harness here and that's just going to go over the center of this section kind of like that and we're going to need these fd01 screws next and i'm going to secure this front one here into the hole just down the bottom here do you think tweezers are going to be your friend here just to line that up and then get that in so it's at an angle at the moment but now we've got it where we want it so get this as tight as I can now the other sides of these are connected to each side here and here and there's a hole just here and here for FP01 screws just to get that into place here now in the instructions they've sort of wrapped this around this section here I don't know why you would have done that so I'm just gonna put these directly in here and make it look like it's tight so let's get this one in here first and there we go you get the idea how that looks I'll do the same on the other side and there you go that's in place and they do tease you in the instructions by showing that they've got some uh, decals on each one of these but they don't actually come with this it does say that's a prototype for illustration purposes only but that is the end of that stage mm. 
So as I mentioned right at the start of this video, the wheel is now done, so we are gonna start on the engine. So looking at where we're starting first, we've got the uh, Rotoflex gearbox coupling. So that's the first thing that we're gonna be creating. So that looks like that. So I've got those here, let's get those out. Quite simply, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna be taking two of these. One's got a pin, one hasn't. We're just gonna line the pin up with this one here. So this makes one frame like that. Or should I call it Rotoflex bearing? Then we're gonna be taking these three posts here and just pushing these through the hole here. So that all goes together like that there. And that's what that looks like. Do the same on the other one. Line up the pin with the hole. See the hole there? And push them together. Excellent. Then take one of these push that through so that comes out the other side there as well now I am thinking just looking at this that there is a way for this to go in so if it's in that way as you can see here the uh, section with the hole just there is actually going to be against the engine but the uh, section that we see does have the bolts in so I think that's the way that this needs to go in we're then going to be taking this coupling and quite simply this is just going to go over the top here just like this so that holds that into place. Now, if you look at these three posts here, we're gonna be taking this coupling and putting it this way around over to the holes. It's gonna be secured in with some screws. They're the FP02 screws. And there's three of these to put in. And this one's number three. Excellent, as you can see, that's what that looks like when that's been created. So, I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side here. And once again get all of these screws into place and there you go both of those have been created and that is all there is to do in that stage so in stage 60 here let's look what we're doing in here it looks like we're going to have the first part of the cylinder head looking like that we are going to start putting these couplings into place on here so when that's done it's going to look just like that now, if you have a look at the bottom of these, they are labelled. One's got L, one's got an R. We want the left-hand side one. And this is just going to be pushed in to these points just here. So I'm just going to line them up and push them in like that. We've got some FPO1 screws that are going to help put that in. That's going to go in from this side here. Screw that nice and tight. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 61, I did call this a cylinder head last time. It's not, it's the trans, uh, transmission case. Why, why do I keep calling things the wrong things? I'm sure you're all shouting at the screen. The other side of the transmission case, and we've got the gear coupling to go in here as well. So that's going to look just like that. So at the end, we've got two of these. It must be so annoying that every time I call something a completely different name to what the part is. So as you can see, we've got the driver's seat here. <laughs> <laughs> it just annoys me, so I know it must annoy you. Okay, so we're just going to put this one into place on here, just like the last one here. That goes on like that. And then, once again, an FPO1 screw, which I've got left over from last time, actually, so I don't need to open the new bag. That's just going to go into this hole here. Perfect. So that's that one in place as well. That means we've done two. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Which means the last stage of this pack looking like this. It's going to flick through the magazine again. We have now got some more parts of the transmission case. Looks like the ends of the stuff here. We're going to piece together what we've just created here. So we are actually going to have a finished transmission by the end of this. So the first thing I've got is a transmission case control lever here. That's just going to go into the hole just there. So that's fitting on like that. And once again, screw of choice, FPO1 screw, just from the underside here to hold that in. There you go. That's not going anywhere. Now bringing over the underside of the transmission now, just turning this over, we've got this detail now to put in. It's going to go into the holes that we can see just on the side there like that with this area here towards this side once again this is going to be held in from this side with fpo1 screws 
So one there, and one on the other side. That holds that in nice and tight. And then the last one to put in looks just like this. This is gonna be going in to the hole just there, over the top like that. You've guessed it, this time it's an FD01 because we are going into metal. So I will put this in some oil. Make sure everything's on nice and tight, which it is because we are now gonna piece both of these parts together like this. Make sure it's fully flush all the way around. And I've got these FD01 metal screws again. We're gonna have two going into this hole here, or these holes here. So one in here. Let's use my uh, smaller screwdriver actually. My bigger one's not going in there. There you go. And one just on this side. And one just down the middle here. And when that's done, that should look just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. There you go, what do you think of that, huh? I mean, we've started the engine. I've got a nice new camera system going on, so uh, quite a good start to the week, really, isn't it? If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.